Da 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 do 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 ba da ba be ba ba da boo. Welcome to the welcome to the XP podcast. I got an intro song. This is gonna be. I'm gonna I'm gonna find a way to mix that and make it an actual yes. uh, intro song. This is a test on the 11th of June uh, at 18:45 at um, Humam's den. Yeah, and thank God this is an audio podcast. Let me just say that. Yeah, uh, it looks shit. Um, yeah, I hate it. Uh, yeah, he has many posters that we cannot show on YouTube for this. No, no, it's like just it's, it's a lot of Playboy magazines, but not the good stuff. No, the the nineteen seventies one, the ones that are like I like the ones yeah. that have been unissued, and then I, I like you can find them only collector's item. You know what you I mean? Can, you can see the rib cage. Yeah, 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 from yeah, the yeah, corsets, yeah, yeah. basically. It's, it wasn't called play; it was just called girl. Yeah, and then they added the play to make it a little bit more wholesome, but uh, and then a boy to make it better. <laughs> <laughs> we love men. Yes. So this is going to be our official intro. Yeah. <laughs> So we're going to be uploading. So uh, if you're hearing this uh, and you're not part of the organization and you haven't just clicked on this like while you were in the Discord server, uh, that means that this was so fucking funny uh, that we start, decided to share with other people. Uh, this might be public or this might be just like personally to some people that we know. If you have heard this, yeah, I love you. Uh, if if you really if you really want to hear the actual full thing, then you have to support us. If you support us more, then you're gonna hear more unhinged stuff. Give us money. Yes, we're gonna. Please. This is gonna be. <laughs> Once we can afford drugs for this. This is the first that's... episode, and we're launching a Patreon straight away because yeah. we're so yeah, right sure. Because we're so sure, but okay. Anyway, anyway, uh, this is the first kinda. We're we're testing things out. This is the first official. XP podcast mm -hmm. or X podcast, if, if you will. It is X podcast. Uh, my name is Humam. My name is Joris. My name is Shelby. And we are three XP members. Actually, yes. well, more than that. I will let I will let Joris so, speak. Uh, I'm uh, currently still the uh, chairman and uh, co-founder of XP. Uh, I've been here since the beginning, and yeah, that's been me. And I have the future chairman next to me. <laughs> this introduction is too cool for me but hey uh, my name is Shelby and I'm also part of XP and uh, PR committee as well yes. yeah right. and I'm Humam I am the, also part of the PR community wow, I try to be active but I'm only I only know how to do fucking videos so can we swear can we swear in this yeah, of course yeah. we fucking can uh, we, okay <laughs> like, fuckity fuck fuckity uh, fuck yeah, so I've been trying. I, I joined XP actually less than a year ago, hmm. and I was part of PR before I was part of XP for oh, so yeah, true. for so long. Oops! And then I went to a party, and then they were like, "Hey, this is for XP members, Mom, I don't see your name." And then I had to sign up for it. Oof, you had to pay um, money for twelve euros a year. Oh my god! Oh my fun. god! Yeah, I mean, I'm an alumni. I think I'm gonna get the discount now. Oh, so, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. benefits of being old um but yeah we really wanted to do this we wanted to start do more content that people can binge people can watch people can enjoy and it's low effort for us so we can just post it yeah <laughs> podcast is very low effort mm -hmm. um and this is this is the first one i don't know if you're gonna hear this as an xp member or like a part of cmgt or somewhere on the internet but if you're looking through the archives and finding this um <laughs> Don't blackmail us with this, please. Yeah. Yeah. We're, yeah, we're gonna yeah, say yeah. some really fucked up shit on here, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like this is not meant for like, anyone. How Arduino is actually not that bad. Yeah. And yeah, that's a, that's my hot take. We like the organization has actually been Dutch this whole time. The whole thing. <laughs> it's I know it's horrible. It's horrible <laughs> to hear. But yeah, no. It's it's we've we're gonna implement a full Dutch uh, policy within a year. Yeah, uh, yeah. So we're gonna change the name from you can't say XP. I have to say XP now yeah. for you to be a member of XP. And it's not experience. It's what's the word? <laughs> it's ER now. Yeah, it's ER. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna launch a uh, copyright uh infringement on every hospital in the world yeah. 
uh, so we can claim the name ER for our podcast or our 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 organization in general. Yeah. I think we're giving people a very confused feeling if this is a serious or this is a I mean, it's not wacky. To, it's not supposed to be serious. It's both. It's, like it's I don't know if you've actually seen the the CMT podcast like the actual ones. The, yeah. the, the not your fake ones that you made. The yeah. bad ones. I've seen. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> like the like Wait, are you calling mine bad no, or I'm just oh, kidding. okay. Cuz ours were superior. I'm just going to yeah, say that. Totally. No, but like the the new ones like they they've been nice and Mark and Ivan's have been super great on it, but I've noticed that like when when you have guests on there they feel like it's supposed to be like official and stuff and like educational and like educational because it's like CBT itself and that happened with like guest lecture mm-hmm. and I guess people guests on there that would actually industry pro- professionals, which is nice. But like that's CMT is weirder than that. Yeah, students are not looking for that kind of yeah, thing. Like, Unless you're very intricate about this specific topic and you want to hear from this specific person. Mm-hmm. Most of the times you click on a podcast just to listen yeah. to people, have fun because you have no friends and you wish you could be in their place. Yeah. So pretend we are your friends. Yeah, but don't talk to We're us. We're not. You you're a fucking loser. Yeah. Fucking like don't like. But we love you now. But yeah. if you see us outside, don't fucking come talk to us, please. If, if, please come in the back from the, the house, not in the front. Like, one of my friends sees you. You know. Yes. Bad. Yes. Yeah. Shelby, how are you holding up? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> weird, this is my first idea. time being in podcast, and I feel like uh, the humor here will require like a separate damage control thingy in the PR committee. <laughs> Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> but it's uh, currently <laughs> listening, you know, trying yeah. to you, you, vibe boys. You, you can get everything? the microphone a little bit closer to you. Yeah. Oh really? You yeah. okay. you haven't experienced me in the the, the the chaotic days of XP in the beginning. Yeah, uh, true. Like I appeared right when it get like uh, you know everything is serious, official announcements, you know, like getting into the yeah. committees, like everything is serious. And right now it's just like seeing the true face. Yeah, <laughs> so like, uh, if, if you look at the XP Twitter account, like in the beginning, it was just like, I think the only times I ever posted on there was if I was drunk or high. And oh my. Was, I was there for the inception and I was like, yeah, yeah this is good shit. It's, it's good. It was good content. <laughs> I, I think it hit the mark uh, and I really, uh, really liked it. But yeah, it was this. This is the tone of voice that it was in the beginning. But I feel like we we are able to do that with tone of voice. Just because, yeah, like. We, we can pose ourselves as fucking weird exactly I exactly I'm, I'm happy with my life i don't have twitter account so <laughs> <laughs> i haven't seen it ouch okay i'll check it out i'll check it out and may possibly like my something. <laughs> i mean you should be able to log into it soon since head of pr yeah definitely. like you had the power now to do whatever on it right if you want mm-hmm. you can yeah. just deactivate it which will be totally <laughs> so right now it's in the hands of uh michael i forgot his name third not a third year that uh, CMT student he left the study because uh he sucked and now he, he just didn't <laughs> want to do it anymore <laughs> and he's doing a, a gap year i think uh but he did a few recent posts that are pretty nice like backflip speed run and shit that's the content we're working for yeah the shots fired let's F- go fbi is toning on us <laughs> right from the first episode <laughs> this is when you know this They're content is really fire yes good content yeah. We can, we're going to expose conspiracy theories about XP. I, okay, one of the Are there that, any at the first point? Like at the first place? Th- yeah, many. Uh, <laughs> there's so many of them. I don't know, actually. Elaborate. There is, I, I do think we, uh, there's a few things that we can't talk about. Like uh, <laughs> shitting on, like shitting on other associations, like directly, uh, one in particular. Yeah, there's um, there's one I think we're gonna shit on, but we're not gonna say the name. But everyone, everyone who listens will know who we're there, talking about. I can't wait for the inside joke of what we're gonna use, like as, yeah, yeah, as a replacement yeah. for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see how we'll, that we'll, we'll think about it. Because like right now, I don't have much to say about that. Because like it's just it's not that much. But I feel like once history pops up again, like and memories <laughs> pop up of like the experience of what it is uh, was uh, during that time, uh, I think will definitely pop up. Like and we can't say shit about Cole Cedar because it's Cole. Like they're trying their best. <laughs> yeah, but we're we're the we're the superior ones. So yeah, obviously, obviously we're we're better than everyone. There's a reason why you're still listening to us right now. Every 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 study association and student union and today has nothing on us. We're so fucking cool. I mean, I, that I know that was sarcasm, but I would argue that that was actually true. <laughs> it's. Like, I've never seen so many people who just are interested in what 
XP is organizing and they mm -hmm. think it's part of Warp and they're like, hey, can we join? And then we're like, no, we have to be a member. But at the beginning, we were letting everyone in and we were letting them yeah. join the parties or join the, the game nights. I don't, I haven't been or I haven't heard of another stu student association in this area that would do the same things as it, we do to the extent of how fun it is yeah. or how, you know, I you mean, can get there, you don't know anyone, but you're guaranteed to play a game, you'll meet some new people, you will have fun, you maybe have new friends, who knows? Definitely make some funny jokes. I mean, we're, we're definitely not the only ones doing this. No. Because like game nights is a thing. Um the association that uh, association who not sh who shall not be named actually <laughs> recently wanted to do like a it was a lamp party and I, I noticed that like what they thought was a like lamp party is basically our game nights so like but like they are doing it like uh statistician bot does it archimedes does it like uh i manage i think just a bunch of them do actually do the stuff that we do they're just like it's a different vibe you know like yeah. it's just the vibes <laughs> yeah like the, the vibes are good and like the the people are like accepting and like and great like they're i i don't i don't want to like pose it again as oh we're the nerds of this like we're the nerds and like but we, but we are yeah we are. like it's it, it's cool nerds you know? yeah it's like it's, it's like it's shitty to kind of say like okay it's just because these people are fucking nerds and they didn't have any friends in middle school or something like not all of it all of them of course no. but like that is a common story for a lot of people or at least like a small group and then you kind of go like, yeah, we cater to that, but that only. And then that kind of like, other people outside always think like, that's stupid. Yeah. But then we go like, yeah, but it works. Yeah. If it works, yeah. if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, and exactly. we are for sure not broke. Maybe not financially, but... <laughs> We're actually doing pretty okay with that. But that's mostly because uh, our finance team has been very conservative in terms of spending. Yeah. Uh, like it's been... I don't know. We're making sure that we're not fucking up in the first foundational year. So that's good. Yeah. We, I mean, we, we made it through one year and people are still excited. Mm -hmm. People are still very excited about uh, new events, new stuff. We're planning more stuff even. Like now we introduced the, uh, I don't know, the official name. The uh, Developers Foundry? Yes. That yeah. one where, and also the, the workshops as yeah. well. They're expanding. We're having guests uh guests on Soon, it hopefully <laughs> students teachers and you're you're learning you're enjoying you are having fun and that's uh you're gaining xp that is XP. And that's, this this Jay, is where like, it comes people from people don't make that joke enough it, it sucks oh i God. hate i hate it. it like that's that was the whole point of the branding was that people were gonna say oh it's it's it, you gaining experience like oh i'm gaining experience with it and like it, it was like that was the whole point of it, but no one references it. I thought at first it would meant like Windows XP. I don't know why, because that's the first XP that came to my head. It's but it makes it. more sense that XP is from experience. If yeah. I, I guess I wasn't nerd enough to understand it, but wow. now I've entered the nerd the nerd zone. And why do you even have that graphics card? Like four seventy uh, yeah. Ti. Like, yeah, come on. Why what? for what? I Fake wanna gamer. I wanna <laughs> play Flash games. <laughs> <laughs> cool mass games. <laughs> Rip, rip flash. Yeah, so. RIP. Yeah. RIP. RIP. I'm kind of quiet here because I'm mostly listening because I have joined recently. Mm -hmm. So I don't know about the fun founding, um, like time of XP, like uh, the experiments. But I mean, since you're new, you can you can yeah. tell us. It's how an did, outside perspective. Yeah, yeah. How, yeah, how like did a, you how did you see it from outside and how does it feel to be inside of it now? That sounds a little bit sus, <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> It was a genuine yeah, question. Like from the outside, like was the cold okay? And on the inside, it was like it was like less less damaging than you thought. Or like... honestly, I pretty much enjoy it, and I uh, also wholeheartedly agree with what you said about um, I'll say the target audience. Yeah. Because um, a lot of other associations, they um, it seems that they have like I'll say wider like audience, but at the same time, uh, they forget a big chunk of people who are actually going to CMGT, which are you know. Mm, more into some fandoms a bit more quiet a bit more nerdy yeah. and at the same time uh they get ignored by uh a lot of um by a lot of other bands which is looks a bit trying to fix i like it i like it a lot yeah. <laughs> i mean yeah. in, in the end we're not trying to fix anything really like i mean that was the initial like motivation behind everything but uh like i feel like at its core it's always been like just having fun like using our resources yeah. kind of sure. realizing yeah. that like you can do this on your own and giving like, space to people yeah. who are like us because if if you're into something that much 
-hmm. you won't go to a a party or a game night where like you're gonna meet a wider people like yeah. most likely if you're into something that much you're gonna come here to play that something or play yeah. with people who are interested in it and that's where we have the place for it if you wanna you're gonna find people play pokemon magic um just dance it's very it's more than it's more popular than you think in the game nights yeah <laughs> i've been that just dance is like it's sure. essential each fucking time I, I'm surprised that people weren't sweating like so much the last time, but like it's definitely I don't know. I appreciate every time people being active. Shout out to Penny who's yeah. grinding at it every <laughs> fucking time. Like holy shit! True, like do be. not do not challenge Penny for a dance off. She yeah. will mm -mm, she will destroy you. And also, if we have one more game night where Hospitin does not get danced, I'm just gonna... we haven't had one, so I think we're. And a good record. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> Got to keep it up. Yeah. Yeah, but in 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 short, if there's a game that you're into, if there's a game that you want to play, just bring it with you. Yeah. There's a lot of people there who are just want to learn new stuff and want to play something, want to be part of something. I remember bringing my friends, and we played Werewolf. They've never oh, played yeah, it yeah. before, and then like more and more, a lot of people started gathering and wanted to join. And they ended the night. <laughs> Like, I remember they were closing, like, hey, guys, we have to go. And we were still arguing about the game before. Like, no, you were the werewolf, and I told you. And then you killed the doctor. Uh, nah, 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 nah. Did you have a little beanbag circle uh, going on? No, it was on a table, oh, actually. Oh, it was on a table. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> we don't have the space for it anymore, but, like, I loved the early, like, when it, when that whole building was just not decorated on that floor. Like, I yeah. loved the early kind of, like, circles and beanbag kind of areas. Like, people were just dead at the end of the day anyway. So yeah. they were just kind of, like, relaxed there. And, and chill and yeah. listen to some Nintendo music. It was really nice. And, I mean, it's not it's not that now it's bad or anything. It's just uh, the early ones had a different different feel for it. Yeah. yeah. And now that the space is tighter, but you know, there's more consoles to play with yeah. now. Like a lot of. Uh, I mean, in the future we'll hopefully fix that kind of like I mean, uh, music in the future is not going to be virtual the whole time. Yeah. And uh, there's valid criticisms to be given with the current <laughs> setup. So like, I don't know. I'm I'm seeing a lot of like improvements in the future with that, uh, but we'll see. But it's nice. I'm so happy with it. Like I remember the first time I had a, uh, like we had a game that that was pretty like busy. I was just like I, I think I almost cried actually. Like that was it made me so happy. Like because like awesome. it's, it's, it's you don't you don't see it that much. Like it's it, it, you like it's already super overwhelming when you first come into the study and you see this whole group of people that are exactly like you and it's just like oh my god my people are here and there are mm -hmm. two hundred of them. Mm -hmm. uh, and then like that exact moment was the same when the game night was like very popular. I think especially it wasn't uh, like the first time it was great, but um, it was also one during uh, during the introduction week because we got like hundred people. We had to not let yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So busy. yeah yeah and like it just, i was actually uh, stopped by a bouncer i still hold oh. a grudge <laughs> yeah it's i mean it was we, we couldn't waited. we couldn't let anyone in and it yeah. was like it was a big struggle but like i just it was also yeah. kind of yeah. a milestone yeah. like to have yeah. so many people yes. that wanted to join Young, younger students yeah. and like older students interacting and like having fun like that was all, what it was all about so yeah. I, I, yeah i think the first game night happened around june of last year right june or was may it june I think it was even earlier. No, I think I think March, like uh, like uh, no wait, not March. Uh, oh. April was like we we started out. I think really early on. Yeah, let me check the Instagram <laughs> as well. I, we it, we uh, we already had events like set up like in the beginning. Yeah. Uh, and like because like we were like we're not gonna launch without any events. Um, no, no, no. I actually I remember those particular game nuts that you're talking about. And I remember that it was cool that people were not giving up. People were showing up, um, yeah. getting kicked out, <laughs> then waiting for like yeah. 30 minutes, like outside, like where the space mm -hmm. bar is, and yeah. then trying to get in again. So that yeah. was worth it. You know? yeah. Yeah. In the eyes of people, that was worth it. That was really cool. First of April was the first one. Immediately. This was like, let me check. How did anyone believe That's... you there would be a game night? Two days after launch. <laughs> that was two days after launch. Like we immediately had new Yeah, events. yeah, it was. Uh, I mean, we were going crazy in the beginning, anyways. Like we had like so many parties lined up immediately. Like uh, uh, other events. Going the first on. game that was pretty crazy. Like there was like three projector setups with like different oh, yeah. consoles, and yeah. we were playing um, every game you can think of. Yeah. I yeah. went there just to hang out. <laughs> Ended up getting in a very competitive game of throw burrito and 
I made some new friends on that day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I can I can be assured that me and Farid got closer because I threw a burrito really hard at him yeah. and then <laughs> there was some respect after that. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Honestly, I think like that uh, cool game nights were not that long ago because uh, when you mentioned the date when it was, uh, I think I just applied my documents here. <laughs> so, oh, damn. Okay. So I'm talking about the autumn ones, which are not yeah, yeah. that long ago. And there still were a lot of people like interested in the same level that you described. I guess even more because it was mm-hmm. later from the launch. Yeah, it was more people. Like, yeah. The, the, like we definitely had like, uh, like the, it's real interesting that like, the amount of active people that we had was around the same right now. Uh, well, it's more a little bit more, of course, right now than uh, as it was like uh, in the first half year. Like just because like we were, we started out with a big launch with a lot of marketing and stuff like super early on. Like it was just so hyped up that just so many mm-hmm. people still came despite just it being so new. Yeah. Uh, we still had some, I'd say like, I don't know, skeptic, uh, skeptical people. Like they were just kind of like, Okay. I mean, is... I'm going to be honest, I was one of them. Yeah. I fine. didn't oh. know I didn't know what to think of it because I had a bad experience with the one that who shall not be mm-hmm. named. Yeah. Uh and then I saw mm-hmm. the poster, it caught my eye, but I was like, <laughs> what is this? I don't know. And then I just mentioned it to Farid and I didn't know he was part of the, like the whole organi- organization and he told me about it and I was like, you know what? I'll come check it out yeah. to support my guy, I guess. <laughs> and I went there and I remember the first party was so packed. Yeah, there were so many people at Space Bar. Yeah. And I think the moment it clicked for me is after Yoris, I think, did like a speech at the beginning. Oh, oh yeah, true. Yeah, and then the teachers gave Yoris or gave XP like the the clock, the wooden. Uh, yeah, the little thing. Oh, we still gotta fix that one. Yeah, uh, and when I saw that, I was like, they didn't do half of that for the one who shall not be named. So like, yeah. if the teachers put their trust in this, and I was like, they okay. were so hyped. Oh my, like we had to, we had to keep them from being too hyped, <laughs> like. Because we still have to be civil because we were still sharing a uh, study basically with another association. Yeah. Uh, so we still have to be civil about like uh, doing events and like uh, when we said like, we wouldn't say we are the study association for CMT. We would be saying we are one of the study associations yeah. for CMT. Yeah. During, I, I was also very active during that time during and doing open days. Uh, so like digital open day streams and stuff like talking to new students. And mm-hmm. I would always have to like... Um, emphasize that uh, it's two of them um but the teachers didn't <laughs> they just they they were so fucking hyped already like immediately <laughs> yeah I, I i it already started when we sent out the first like proposal documents mm-hmm. like it's like four of them or something where we described the the mission of xp the the the, the like the the thought the philosophy behind it which is just honestly like the most important part of it really uh, because it really grounds us as like what we really are for, which for a lot of people is difficult to understand, uh, like uh, in that corporate kind of area. But like they were just immediately like, okay, this is a thing now. Fuck the other guys. Like <laughs> yeah. it just, they were already not happy. They were already wanted to like focus more on their own stuff. And me together with some other people from uh, the CMT promo team, we were already testing out some events like picnics and stuff and like, uh, some smaller things and it was already working out and then yeah just we had to do a year of being nice about it <laughs> i guess i mean i remember i've seen teachers there that i didn't think they were that passionate about their students to be honest yeah. uh, and they surprised me how like excited they were and they were having a lot like they're having a good time i was having a yeah. good time I was there and I mean, I didn't know anyone back then. So I was hanging out with the teachers because these are the only people I knew. And then a couple more of my friends like from my year showed up and we dance a little bit. And then I go, I go backstage. I go to the after party. Yeah. <laughs> and then I started meeting the guys. I met Yoris and I met Sammy and I met, um, who was it again? I think I met Jeff as well and, oh, yeah. and Rex. And yeah, I, I came to the game night after that and then I think I saw your guys' um, cooking stream. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The legendary uh, one. Yeah. <laughs> but it did, it did make me think like, okay, maybe I kind of want to be part of these people now. Was it because... <laughs> maybe they no, 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 no. <laughs> I didn't watch it in full, but I was like, the idea is cool. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I, I was 
okay, they, like, I like I mean, how gentle you are around. Like, <laughs> it's it's our own work, you know. Uh, no, <laughs> it's you can like uh, there were there is valid criticism. Like it was yeah, a great yeah, idea. Yeah. We had we had but the some, idea is nice. We had some Definitely. good stuff prepared for it. It's just like let me say this. Let me say this. Experience. No other student organization did yeah. the same. Exactly. And I was looking for something like this. Yeah. And then I, I went to Jeff and I was like, hey, I want to join. And then he told me to talk to Yoris. And then I talked to Yoris and Yoris was like very excited. Yeah, of <laughs> because course. Because I was the, the first, not the first, but like one of the only like really late in the study. Like I was a fourth year maybe yeah. or a third year. I don't, can't remember. I think I was a third you, year. When you were I, Gen 1 at least. Yeah, okay. I was Gen 1. So I was the one who started. And I, I told them that I was always looking for yeah. something to do like this, but none of the people in my study believe that it's going to work. Yeah. So I was very happy that there are some people who are doing it and I want to be part of it. It took us a while. Mm -hmm. I've been part of XP for a year and not much has happened. The only significant thing that happened is I shaved my mustache on stream. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, some plans and that's it really. (laughs) um, But I wanted to do more and hopefully this is the start of us doing more and yeah, I mean, I was already excited forward. about that because, like, you were, like, you, you were one of the few people, like, from that generation of students, like, uh, that were actually excited about taking initiatives, like, within the study. Like, you did the podcast thing. You did. Yeah. Uh, I assume you worked on some other things, yeah. like, in, in that context. And uh, I, I just, I saw this kind of, like, when, once I started, I already died out. Like, it was already gone, basically. Yeah. And uh, like, I remember the first day, kind of asking, "Hey." what's going on why i why what's up with the gen one server like are are you guys like active at all like i saw all these like uh like students and they were all kind of like spread around and not as close as everyone else no, 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 no. and i was just like but there is there's hints of yeah. things happening the funny bit is that i became closer friends to my gen one classmates after they joined xp <laughs> because because <laughs> yeah. then we started talking like yeah i didn't know you were that much of a nerd it's like i didn't know you were that much of a nerd and then we became closer friends <laughs> biggest example was uh rowan I've, oh, i yeah. i worked on a project with him but i we we didn't get that close but you know it was a project but now we're like I, I consider him like a good friend of mine uh glenn as well uh Ian, Lena, who also graduated now, they're also from Gen One. But I'm trying, I'm trying to get my Gen One people involved in it. But uh, yeah. it's a little bit difficult to convince them of it because we didn't have it during our year. It so it's kind of like, mm. ooh, what is this? I was Too much purple. So happy with it. <laughs> yeah, the same thing with Gen Two people actually, because uh, a lot of hobbies, like interests, were shared on the game nights or some XP related events. Uh, I cannot fully join the nostalgia, as I said, but. <laughs> But uh, a lot of experience that you're describing, I had them with XP as well, but uh, in the autumn. Like in the oh, autumn, yeah. and also a lot of um, a lot of stuff going on in the intro. Mm-hmm. And, and also, I remember me and like my classmates uh, being the people to see like XP in the intro introduced alongside of the other associations. Yeah, how, how was... And um, <laughs> like... And how every association like tried to grab uh, um, <laughs> students' attention at the same time. That was fun, okay. <laughs> there was I some remember... loyalty, fucking yeah. hell. Yeah. Okay, yeah. again, again, no names, but I remember just like some, you know, like a lot of uh, merch dropping, you know, like to get people. <laughs> and yeah, I was we like... got so in trouble for that. Yeah. Um, like, we've... oops. So, also, um, the... We did have some free marketing with the stickers, so... That also yeah, yeah, that was the problem. Were like it was being posted like everywhere on other things that were not ours. Uh, so it was just like I don't know, like but it was it extreme. It wasn't our fault. We just no, we no. gave them to people and then Wait, people. Again, we, how we many did stickers did we use? How we, many stickers? I mean, we didn't use a lot. Of, like we had like two thousand or something in the beginning. Uh, like uh, and then we ended up with I think like a thousand got wasted during the introduction week. It's pretty One good. Like we just kept it, giving stickers. them out. Yeah, but it's like it's more like some people were putting them as a sign of protest against the like other associations. And not really protest, but like we noticed that there was suddenly like a very strong loyalty very early on. Yeah, uh, mm, yeah. and then kind of like any barrier, any push to kind of deviate from that was already seen as like oh these are just some fucking Dutchies who are not who don't care about internationals, uh, and then it suddenly became like a little bit more hostile than we wanted it to be. 
But at the end of the day, it's still not our fault. Yeah, it's not our fault. I mean, it's not our fault that we are so cool that yeah. <laughs> people want to be part of us over your stinky student association. Yeah, stinky. Uh oh. <laughs> um. But it was it was an unexpected way of getting some free marketing. Oh yeah, totally. Like it's... there was a moment where like everywhere you walked in the center of Ansley, you would see an XP mm. sticker somewhere. Putting, I mean, yeah. I still see them a lot. Like uh, the the one at Jumbo's uh, has been there for quite a while. Uh, I see just randomly in some streets, and I like I love the game that we had for a while, like just putting it as high as possible. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like, oh God, still yeah. at the glass building, there is one that's super high up already still, <laughs> and like just I mean gamifying it. Let's go. It's yeah. Just, yeah. It's so so CMT that that happened. Yeah, now it's uh, it's. I'm very excited for the new year and the some new blood. Oh yeah, totally. Will be pumped, <laughs> and uh, I don't know. I have a good feeling about it because now that XP is a little bit more established, mm-hmm. um, we know who we are. We know what we're gonna offer. Then a lot of people will be more excited because there are proof that we did this. Yeah. We are this. We have the game nights. We have the parties. Yeah. Look at the cool pictures. Oh, By the way, be, like, go to XP Instagram. The pride, yes. uh, the pride party pictures are online. Go watch. Go see them. They're so good. Shout out to Marlene and uh, Anya. Great work. Yeah, I wasn't there, but I've seen the pictures. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, it's. I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, Anya has been carrying the like the yeah. the photography for a long time. Like after um, we started actually caring more, more about it, and then. Marlene is now adding like a really artistic touch to it, yeah, which I'm yeah. really happy about. Uh, so it's good shit. I mean, good content, right? Like, I really hope that next year people see uh, see it and look like, okay, this is opportunity. I mean, that's why we're doing this as well. Like, yeah. Like we wanna sure. we wanna start this out. We wanna kick this out. We wanna show like, hey, we can do content because the biggest difference between us and other associations that are like us in other parts of the like not only country, just the world, because they're like a handful of like mm-hmm. associations yeah. that are like this. Like the biggest difference is the other ones focus more on online stuff. They have lect- online lectures, online streams, online events. Like it's all online. We do a lot of stuff physical because yeah. we are able to. But I feel like there is an untapped market for yeah. online stuff because we still have nerds that don't fucking go out of the, out of the house, and that's totally fine. Yeah. But I still want to do stuff for the, them. The success yeah. of the twenty four hour stream is yeah is what made what got me thinking like hey we can do this more we can do this more than 24 hours <laughs> <laughs> we can do a 24 day stream oh, fuck, yes. <laughs> yeah. um but we just want to mention that this is not the only form of content you're going to be getting mm-hmm. we are currently working on other ways to entertain you basically uh but it's gonna be a period of trial and error not mm-hmm. everything is gonna is gonna land, and that's part of it. Yeah, we just ask you to you know keep supporting us. Tell us what did you like about the content we're gonna do. Tell us what you liked about the content we're gonna do. So we keep making the stuff that you guys want to see and you guys want to enjoy. And if you want to if you want to do it yourself, looking, if you want to help us, yeah. of course you're more than welcome to join. Like <laughs> it's it's, it's I, I I I've been struggling to kind of communicate this sometimes with people like. Uh, XP is there to be utilized by anyone at all times. Like it just, it's a platform. It's not just like, oh, this group of people is taking these initiatives. Like from the very beginning, it's been a, a very like big goal of us to make pe- make sure that people know that it's not just the board doing things or anything. The board is just there to give leadership and like uh, take care of all the management stuff. Yeah. Like it's just. The organization itself is part of, like, is for the people. It's made by the people. It's just like you are able to utilize it for anything else, anything that you want to do. Mm-hmm. We've already had people that uh, utilize the space at uh, Warp uh, for just fun stuff, like even like small birthday parties mm-hmm. or something, like uh, it's, it's it's stuff like that. And I don't know, like I feel like that we can make this clearer in the future. I just don't know how. But I really hope to see some students kind of looking at XP and going like, oh, they they have money to do weird shit. I have a weird <laughs> idea. And um, we can do the weird shit. Like, I mean, this is one of them. This yeah. is one of them. This is one. Yeah. I, I came to yours and I was like, hey, I have a weird idea. And he was like, okay, let's do, let's, it. Let's do it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm out for it. I mean, we, we uh, like, 
I feel like the Maid Cafe is a great example of this. Yeah. Like, it, it, I was so excited <laughs> to do that because, like, very early on, I was uh, I, I wanted to say, like, I wanted to do things that uh, would, would already be different. We didn't have to be a model stu study association. We didn't have to be the same as anyone nope. else because there's no reason to. We don't have to cater towards them. We don't have to like uh, do things that uh, is for a wider audience like if we want to do things that sets us sets us, it sets, us it sets us like apart then the attendance doesn't really matter like the maid cafe sh uh, had quite a bit of people and i'm really happy about that mm -hmm. but like even if there were only like 10 people or something the fact that we would have on our list a maid cafe already <laughs> says enough about our association yep. and that attracts the people that we want to attract mm -hmm. like i've 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 had this with when describing it to people from other studies, like sometimes you hear people that go like, oh, fuck yes, that's so great. And then you also hear some people like, whoa, that's so weird. And then you can kind of Again, figure out. Again, like, I'm one of them, but I always keep yeah. being, or my expectations are always being exceeded by XP every yeah. time. I mean, at least you try it. Like, <laughs> yeah, someone, I, I, someone is looking at it and go like, okay, not for me, but sure. Yeah, I went there, I wanted to see how it is. Um, I still conclude that it's not for me, yeah. but I did enjoy my time there. I saw how many people were enjoying it. I saw way, I, ex I didn't expect that many people to be there. Yeah, holy shit. And many people who like put effort in what they were wearing. And oh my God, it was, it's at the end of the day, if you see people having fun, then you're like, you know what? I'm just happy for these people. Yeah. And I'm happy that these people have a place or a, a group of people that will allow them to come here have fun and do this thing that practically it's really hard to find anywhere in the area where xp is located mm -hmm. um because we are that nerdy there's no one who is there's no one who is uh not so scared to be that nerdy yeah in public we're not we're not scared <laughs> to be weird we're not scared to not fit in like the regular student life like we're not here for the people that regularly go out uh, and like have parties and stuff and while we do events that cater to that we still make sure to be as inclusive as possible to people that might not be immediately going to that like we want to make sure that people that think they're introverted uh and might not just have had the right people to hang out yeah. with to experience that and actually be introduced to that experience because i, I was definitely someone like that like i was like all full like anti-party i would never go to parties and stuff i still have struggled to really enjoy myself during that time but like i i do enjoy going to it with friends and like experiencing being around people and like uh and having fun there and i wish that experience to anyone else really that yeah may might like like that kind of thing i'm almost on the same boat i'm not a party person i actually haven't been to the last like public events <laughs> at xp <laughs> um but uh for other reasons not because i didn't want to go yeah, yeah. but practically the first game that i only knew farid and i just mm -hmm. went there and i was like what is the worst that can happen i'm yeah. not gonna enjoy it and then i'm gonna leave it's all right but i ended up liking it so much and then i was like okay i'm gonna come to the next one and then and i started inviting people to come with me to the next one and, now and then there. more and more and more and more and now it, it's at a point that i know that even if there are like no no people or like no games that i'm into or no games i'm gonna enjoy at least there are the people there that i know yeah. and i'll just hang out with them for a bit talk chill and then call it a night yeah it clicked for me during the the halloween party I, oh yeah that was big that was I, good that was i cool. never I'm, I'm a rare dancer i don't <laughs> dance at parties but at the end of that party, i was like you know what i like these people around me and we're gonna go crazy at what, the last song, couple of songs what song triggered it I thriller remember. michael jackson let's go i don't remember actually i generally don't remember but we started putting on like really weird songs at the queue at the oh, end oh yeah totally yeah <laughs> sick house was very willing to uh, uh like allow us to do that yeah yeah and uh it was very nice a lot of people also put a lot of effort in what they're wearing holy shit mm -hmm. there is no there's no other place like xp i'm just gonna say it right now can't wait to do it again yeah yeah me I'm excited for it. I, I already like, have my costume, but I'm gonna keep it a secret. Oh yeah, I was I was building mine last time and I didn't end up finishing it, which I was really sad about. And then you but, were a cowboy. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I was sad about that. Like I had such a cool thing planned, and then I didn't. End Maybe up it. now you have time to finish it for the next one. Yeah, totally. I, I am gonna do it again. Like I'm really excited to do that. Yeah. But 
fuck. It, um, I was pretty sad about that, but it's gonna be okay. Uh, also, like, I think the, the like the, the Halloween parties is a really good example of like what makes us different. Yeah. Because like, no other like CMT students would never go to this kind of party. I mean, no. some some of them will definitely go, of course, because like it's just like go not a, like let alone dress up. And yeah, go. <laughs> exactly. And then suddenly you see a bunch of people who you would never see at a party, yeah. at that kind of party. And that's that, that's special. And to actually enjoy themselves, not like they were dragged there, you know? Yeah, yeah. exactly. They actually want to join and be celebrated. It's amazing. I'm, I, I'm glad I checked around there, though. There were... It's an interesting setup. We came in a weird time as well. Like, it, I think it was around like post... Ends. Post, uh, like, um, Overkill Festival, I think. And there were like some cool stuff set up already, but there was also some beds, uh, and they had covers, yeah. and I was just like, oh, okay. A lot of people were sleeping there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, and I, I'm glad they were just sleeping and not <laughs> something else was happening. I was, that was one of the few times where I was just like, is this a person or is this part of the the yeah. art? Mm -hmm. I don't know what to, what to make of it because people dressed very unconventionally, sleeping in a very unconventional bed. Uh -huh. That is set up in a very unconventional way. And you're like, okay, this part of the party is a bit weird. So I'm just going to go back to the fun one where you can play Mario Kart with an actual cart. Yes. And that was it. Good and there was a LAMP party as well for Quake. That was also oh, very fun. Yeah. Um, I don't know if that was a setup for the Halloween party, but it was part of the Overkill Festival and it was yeah. available. And it was just very fun. There was a Nintendo, what was it? I think an SNES was there. SNES for Quake? No, no, no. There's oh, also the another SNS set. controller. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was there. I've it's... always, I've always wanted to maybe like put those in a game night, but we'll see how that goes. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Well, still imagine like imagine going to the sick house during Halloween after the Overkill Festival and expecting <laughs> convenient, like conventionally dressed <laughs> people or something. <laughs> yeah, but this is so cool. And also, um, meanwhile, while talking, I'm thinking about there are so many possibilities for the online presence. And um, I feel uh, XP is already trying to provide some entertainment and at the same time give the platform for the people, right? Uh, we definitely work. So I think based. that... What? <laughs> We're based. so based. <laughs> based. Yes, <people>. definitely. <laughs> democracy, let's go. Yeah, based imagine XP. somewhere democracy. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I'm not capping over here. I think... Oops. <laughs> It's all right. Yeah, it's all I'm right. not capping. But I think we definitely work. We must have some online presence and we're starting today actually mm -hmm. because if the creative media study organization doesn't have a lot of content <laughs> it raises questions to a lot of people a mm -hmm. lot yeah. of people yeah <laughs> i mean that's that's been the biggest difference between us with the other ones as well right they mm -hmm. asked us about about that as well like hey why do you guys, you guys don't have a youtube like i mean we do have a youtube but not like anything active on it like that, that was for surprising now. to uh to them like, for now yeah yeah for now it's like I don't know. Like I, I kind of realized at that point, I was like, oh, "Okay, shit, true. We didn't really focus on this." But this, uh, that's also a symptom of the PR committee just being empty for uh, quite a while. Like, yeah. uh, I now mean, the biggest one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> now it's the biggest committee. Uh, yeah, now it's the biggest one, basically. <laughs> but like for a really long time, it was just me doing all the stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I was struggling a lot with getting people to do like some graphic design stuff, not only because I was getting used to it as well, like delegating those kind of tasks. Fucking stop suggesting graphic design courses that I teach them. I'm not a good teacher for this kind of stuff. That's <laughs> like I, I just I just make cool things, and I'm hyper fixated enough to actually make these things. But like, it's just I don't know, it was definitely a struggle in the beginning to get keep up all that uh, yeah. uh, the marketing and stuff, and then just the idea of doing some online content was always there, but just doing that during that time, like it just, it, there was too much else to do. Mm -hmm. Like, sure. Uh, sure. like uh, next to just finishing founding the study association, like, we just I don't know, like we we were doing so much that there was just no time to actually hang out and like make some weird content. <laughs> there was definitely some weird ideas that came along. Uh, one of them was, I think, kind yeah. of a The Office the style, office, yeah. like sitcom <laughs> kind of thing. We still need to make that before the building goes. I, uh, we really need to make it more ironic because like the, the, the initial idea from the person who suggested it was very serious, like an actual oh. like full on no. season shit. <laughs> no, 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 like, no, no. Uh, <sighs> Damn it. That was, that was intense. But uh, yeah. now that there are more people in the PR committee and uh, yeah. definitely more, t also like all of them are super talented now we have the space to okay mm -hmm. let's let's experiment with other forms of content yeah um 
because i mean if you follow us on anywhere instagram or any other social media or even on a discord server you do see that there's a lot of effort put in just simply a poster it's like hey on this date there's a game night i i go to the pr work days i don't do graphic design so i'm just <laughs> watching other people work mm -hmm. but like there's a lot of easter eggs a lot of details and a lot oh, of posters yeah. <laughs> that a lot of people don't notice and that i mean w what i always thought is like you don't have to go that hard but yeah. we're still going that hard because we genuinely like this so we generally I, like two high this. standards oops yeah. <laughs> yeah we generally like providing this kind of stuff because at the end of the day we are also you know students mm -hmm. and if we i mean not me anymore but the rest of us are mostly students yeah. and we look at stuff the same way that we want to consume it. Mm -hmm. Like at least in our study, creative media, if, mm -hmm. if you want to create something for other people, then at least you have to enjoy what you're creating. And that's why we're doing this because we, I mean, I enjoy making video content. I yeah. came up to Yoris and uh, Shelby with so many wacky ideas. Yeah. You were like, <laughs> I remember when you were like really ready for it. Like I, you, I, I, remember, I forgot where I, when it was exactly, but you came up to me and go like, yes, we got to make some fucking content. <laughs> like we just, we got, I got yes. it. We, uh, we're going to, I'm going to meet with you. It was and the we're gonna, concert. <laughs> yeah. Like that. It, like, it was just like, it was just immediately like, I, you were just like, I have, we got to meet, we got to do some stuff. I, I am done with my graduation. I'm going to be fucking yeah. doing this. And yeah. it's just like, I, it's, okay, let's go. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm excited. That's for sure. And I, I really want to pump out like as much as uh, possible. Like, uh, during these times, of course, like I, I got my own shit to do, but at least like, uh, uh, I want to be involved in making some extra stuff. So hopefully yeah. we can inspire people to work on it further. Like, especially with, if we get a new office, uh, <laughs> like this school year, like hopefully Fingers we can crossed. do some stuff in there. Like, and, and if, if you're watching or listening and you know where to reach out for us, if you have any ideas or you want to join us, please feel free to do that. We, yeah. we welcome everyone. Even we, if your idea is so out of this fucking world, we'll still get a hold on. I mean, we're like, maybe not now. Maybe the if, office will be created at if some point. We need money for it. We can give you the money for it. Like, we have the budget. We can do yeah. things. Like, it's, it's like, it's totally possible. There's a, it's the future is bright for at least the online presence. Uh, yeah. And we're really excited to start this journey and start expanding more. I mean, it's, of course, our first focus is the students, mm -hmm. the members of XP, but we're also making us into in, in the uh, mentality that this is for everyone. Yeah, exactly. Anyone around the world who will watch us, who will see us there. It's a weird association. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking, who the fuck are these guys? In terms of uh, sharing stuff in overall, like, like uh, uh, the online presence was also open more possibilities for the collaboration with another study associations, because yeah. some of yeah. them, they were... Um, Again, no names yet, but uh, they were thinking <laughs> about uh, that it would be cool to have a sister association, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we don't but have to not name those. It's um, the, the Game Design Study Association of uh, Toronto, uh, so Ontario Tech, um, and the uh, Hansa CMT Study Association from Groningen, Glitch. Both of them have been excited to kind of work with yeah. us in the future. And yeah. like they already do a shit ton of content. Like Glitch does like they used to do daily streams, which is fucking whack. <laughs> I mean, I don't think they do that anymore right now, but holy shit. Uh, we do got to say we got to like I definitely want to see how we can improve that um, kind of how we do those. Because I, if you look at their numbers, it's just like it's like 10 10 people or something each stream which is mm -hmm. nice yeah. it's like 10 people that you're mm -hmm. doing something for and it's also always great uh like i'm expecting smaller numbers like that with uh, xp as well i'm not expecting yeah. anything big but uh and then you see the the goal streamers uh <laughs> and it's just like 25 or something and like it's like more than double and <laughs> like mm -hmm. i i want to see how we can hone that formula <laughs> and see how we improve that uh to kind of like i mean because we, we're not just going to play league which what which is mostly what they do uh i want to do more stuff like yeah. like you said like the sure. the funny streams like the cooking like uh you showed me some examples of other things that we can do like yeah there's a lot of stuff like a lot of opportunities that uh, we can do just beyond gaming and then doing that together with those associations that's very exciting it's good we're gonna have to deal with the fucking time zone 
issue with Toronto, but it's it's mm, it's yeah. an it's an ongoing <laughs> effort. Yeah, and also like the dedication to making daily streams. That's that's. That's I don't it's think like, we're gonna do that. Uh, yeah, like we're not planning, but uh, the fact that people are finding time every day to like. Uh, make streams that's yeah. like I no mean, excuses for us with it's a, it's a more rotation between a few people there yeah if it's yeah. if it's if there's a rotation it'll be fine if it's a game that you play every day i mean i would assume those people mm. play league often no. not yeah. just yeah. streams like, then it's I, just like no much no more effort just like start streaming and while you're playing yeah. and that's true just having fun i've already yeah. been thinking once i get good internet in my home in my home i'm probably going to be doing some like uh graphic design streams uh, yeah. Like where we just work on some PR stuff with Definitely. XP. Uh, this has already been on the plan for a while, so I can actually schedule when I'm working, so I don't work every fucking day. Um, but like, we'll see how that goes, because uh, there is some. There's a lot of stuff that we can do with XP. There's a lot of stickers that can be made. There's a lot of <laughs> merch that can be designed, uh, yeah. which I still have to. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah, I don't know. A lot of cool stuff that we can do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, everything that. Uh, you think might not happen will happen we're gonna do something really out of the pocket every stream uh <laughs> <laughs> really out of pocket like <laughs> it's gonna be not safe for work stuff definitely on the horizon don't don't wait for it like we're so excited to be posting secret photo shoots that we had internally uh, <laughs> And secrets uh, about those photo shoots as well. I, I gotta say that okay, so I didn't really think about this. I would make a joke, this, but I won't. But like <laughs> the f the first like the, the X party promos that we did, like with the XP visor, yeah. like I had a really clear vision for this that we had that we would have like uh, a person wearing the XP visors, like we would just rotate. Oh, sorry. We rotate wow. between. Oh, yo, this is the first one you're already bored. What the <laughs> fuck? Sorry, I'm bored. I'm so tired. <laughs> it's oh, too man. hot in this country. Uh, yeah. but like yeah. it's I would rotate between these people wearing the XP visors and all of them were, were like posing really nicely and I'm just looking back at some of those pictures like the, uh, there there are some angles there uh, that I'm like this <laughs> <laughs> like I, I knew what I was doing because I was just like yeah that's the point of it it's like a party and like it should catch people's attentions yeah. but there is a few uh, like a few like specific <laughs> shots there where I'm just like this this is this angle that's uh, it's it's just boobs it's like it's just boobs uh he knew what he was like, doing i mean i, I knew I, I did i did like i did like instruct kind of like okay i need a few dynamic shells like this but they didn't end up like that like yeah, quite a bit uh but it how at worked. least we ended up with a safe for work poster let's just say that. yeah true like <laughs> uh, this, this, the shirts were still on which is good <laughs> no it wasn't that kind of party but no. it was a good party still uh yeah, what what is uh what is the schedule looking up for the rest of the month? Uh, the rest of the month, uh, we got a mm -hmm. picnic next week. Oh, that's Friday. Nice. It's nice. Just bring a bunch of shit, uh, uh like uh, blankets and stuff, and like having food and schnaf schnaf stuff. Schnaf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when people yes. touch grass. So, yeah, people <laughs> touch grass. Oh my god. Yeah. Needed. Especially our students need to they touch need grass. To. We got a game night that I should announce in like two weeks. I think that's. On the twenty third, yes. I believe. Uh, exciting! It's probably the last one this year. I don't think we're gonna do stuff next uh, next month, but we'll yeah. see about that. Um, but that doesn't mean work behind the scenes is not being done. Yeah, I'll true. Just say that. Yeah. Developer Foundry's workshops might be coming up. We don't know if we're gonna cancel them or not because like attendance has been really low uh, because we kind of flanked the promo with that. Like we had an idea and we thought it would work just like the art workshop, but it didn't really work that well. So we have to redesign it, re, uh, re, re uh, see how we do it in the future. Which luckily we ha now have two new people for that uh, in the educational committee. Finally, it's getting revived. Uh, it's not dead anymore. Hopefully, um, they're going to be doing the art workshops now and like maybe in a way that's a little bit more sustainable. Nice, because sustainability is still a very important value of XP. Like any anything that we do can be reused. Uh, this this podcast will be used for a mixtape in the near in, in the future. <laughs> like in like twenty years, people are gonna go listen to this and go like, "Oh fuck, that's a good clip." My voice in a in internal video yeah. has already been used <laughs> in a mix from Gus, the genius. Uh, so like, 
<laughs> it's bound to happen and it's gonna happen yeah like, we're gonna we're gonna hear it and we're not gonna hear this so, ho hello future xp people actually i like doing that i like saying hello to like future xp generations they're never gonna listen to this probably uh i mean we, we can hope that you know if if somehow you stumble upon this and you're thinking of joining cmgt at any year yeah i mean i hope this is enough uh encouragement for you to or if you're apply like, and make that game for the intake or if you're like bored of xp like from I don't know, fucking 2030 or something. Hi. Uh, you didn't experience Corona. We did. Fuck you. Uh, <laughs> we had it hard. You have it easy in your study right now. Fucking get good. <laughs> Do you know how much Arduino we had? To, I mean, hopefully by 30 years, there's no more Arduino in the study. <laughs> yeah. Do you know how much Arduino I had to go through for you to enjoy your second quarter of the study? I'm wondering if they're using Unity or Unreal at this point. It should be, I think. I mean, I heard that the switch is going to happen from Maya to Blender now. Oh, yeah, that's that's valid. And in yeah, Maya... that we used Maya. <laughs> Fucking, like, oof, right? And... Did, did Adobe buy that, uh, buy that yet? Yeah, huh? but, but then you have to buy the Adobe Creative Cloud, which is going to include uh, Windows. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to include Audacity, actually. Like... <laughs> The entirety of Steam is on it. Discord as well. It's gonna include Google Chrome in it as well. Mm -hmm. You have to buy Adobe to access the internet. The um, the, the the text editor native in Windows is gonna be in there now. Um, maybe by the time it's twenty thirty, we don't even have to sit down and talk. We just feed our voices into an AI, and then I can see Ableton yeah. Live getting into it. Yeah, actually, yeah. you know what? I kind of want to try and do like one AI podcast and see if people will tell the difference. Oh, oh that's just the tra training on a few yeah. the tests. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're like, yeah, make a podcast. I would love to. I, would love <laughs> I to. actually want to hear that. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> that we have like, to record more. Yeah, yeah. I mean, not now, of course, yeah. but uh, maybe. Now. maybe. No, sad. I had the entire evening scheduled to be constantly recording all the time. No, no, we have we have more video scheduled right after this. We're going to oh, have true. to yeah. do the 24 day stream after this one, true. starting after, at the end of this podcast. Yeah. Uh, 24 day stream and all the procedures are going to be donated to the death of that student association that shall not be named yeah they need the money obviously they <laughs> don't have enough at all really any not association that can pay their like board full time mm. Oof. they have too much money but I think by then I'm hoping they're going to switch it up to Unreal because let's be honest Unity is is, is going backwards or it's not keeping up. Maybe Unity will come up with like Unity six, and it will be like insane mm -hmm. graphics in it. But I hope you guys have more space now. Kicked out uh, the entrepreneurship study. <laughs> Fucking. I hope you guys don't have IMTNS anymore. <laughs> oh fuck yeah! I mean, or at least have better clients than just some dude who says the word metaverse and thinks it means something. Oh my something. god! Oh my, oh my god! Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I still have to do IMTNS if I continue to. Good study. luck. Like it's I mean, just... you still have to do your minor as well, right? Well, yeah, it's free minor. I'm writing it off. Well, um, hopefully by the time you're done with it, then yeah, something would have happened by then. But I know. really hope so. Fuck hell. Um, we're hoping that you can still work at the XR lab after five o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, please. Oh that my would god, that'd be amazing. That'd be amazing. I, I love that place. Mm -hmm. I love that it's cooled and not stinky, and like it's just I don't know. It's so much nicer there. It's such a cool space because I am um, before last year, it was merely like an extra space for CMGT students or yeah. any Saxon study to be like, it was to a, be used. It was a mm -hmm. fucked up VR lab for a while. And then in one year, in less than a year, they we switched completely to that area. It's super nice. It, I didn't expect it to look that nice, but <laughs> it looks really amazing. And yeah nice work like the whole industrial looking workspaces like with the brick wall and all that stuff yeah. and it's really really sick but you know why can't we work after five i don't understand i want to work until tender like uh like just like in the it should have that's building. how it was in the glass building yeah, yeah i don't know why oh well, i heard that you know people who are supposed to look over the place connect you doesn't do it after 10 i don't know i don't know but Same. hopefully by then you can work I mean, you can work 24 24 hours. You can still just go to the glass building. Yeah, okay. but... 
I'm noticing that we're nearing an hour. I think an hour is a good cap for this. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah. uh, so that people can actually listen to this and form an opinion. Yeah. Please, please don't listen to this on, like, two-point speed. Listen oh, to us. yeah, fuck that. If you, at this, <laughs> if, if you're neurodivergent, fuck you. Like, d- 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 I like how we wait d- until the <laughs> end to be like, yo, yeah, if exactly. you're listening <laughs> on two-point speed, fuck you. If you have ADHD and you're listening to this, <laughs> with, uh, like, multiple speed, fuck you. <laughs> the new board doesn't approve it. No, <laughs> like, none, none of us are message. neurodivergent. <laughs> don't, <laughs> like, don't expect a board of weirdly obsessed people. We're going to use a special software to detect who was listening to it on two point speed and yeah. your XP membership will be revoked right after this. I'm the yeah. only one that's allowed to do it because I, <laughs> I do have ADHD. I, I, everyone else is faking it because I'm so cool when I'm doing it, right? <laughs> this is how it works. And like, with that final statement from your, your <laughs> chairman. Yeah, with my statement. <laughs> Going out of bang, yo. <laughs> um, but yeah, this was our first attempt. Uh, please be nice to us. Don't uh, fucking give us feedback. Give us extreme feedback. We yes. let's let's just say that we're gonna keep going up from here. It's gonna keep uh, keep getting better. There's hopefully gonna be more content and more stuff that you're gonna enjoy. Please, please feel free to suggest to us stuff. Even if you like, you want to be anonymous, just send it via mail. You can find the. You can the, do a little question box. Yeah, we can do uh, unboxing, fan mail. Because everyone's just such a fan of uh, XP. <laughs> what is send XP stuff? Just go to the office, give Yellers. them a box. So confident. So, yeah. know, Y'all fucking... are so confident. <laughs> <laughs> Never. I mean, uh, we got gifted stuff by Jeff. Thank you for that. Uh, I mean, gifted more like just like, oh, I don't use this anymore. And <laughs> I got it now. That's why we have a 3D printer. It's 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 the idea that matters. Yeah, yeah. Um, but thank you for listening. Hopefully this is not uh, the last one you're going to hear. There's going to be more and more and more. And uh, keep giving us your support. And we'll see you on the next one. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Bye. Bye Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.